Hi everyone. In this video I want to talk about two different types of real interest rates. So as you remember we defined the real interest rate as the nominal interest rate minus the inflation rate. And that's more or less an approximation that um, everybody uses so we'll just go ahead with it. But the real question is which inflation rate do you use? Now if you think about it, suppose you were borrowing money for a year. When you actually borrow the money the nominal interest rate, so the I term here, will be stated in the loan contract. So you'll know what the nominal interest rate is. But you actually don't know what the inflation rate is going to be for the next year. Which means you don't actually know what your real interest rate or the real cost of borrowing is going to be for the next year. Okay. As a result, we're going to make a distinction between two types of real interest rates. We're going to say the ex post real interest rate, which is after you ex post, meaning after you know inflation, over the life of your loan, in this case one year, and the ex-ante real interest rate is before you know the inflation rate for the next year. Okay, So here you think of like ante as an ante up in poker, where in that, that scenario you're putting money in the pot before you actually get your cards. Here the ex-ante real interest rate is the real interest rate you expect to pay, it's the real interest rate that you expect to pay before you actually know what the inflation rate is going to be over the life of your loan, in this case, one year. All right. <coughs> so there's two different types of real interest rates. The ex post real interest rate, which is the interest rate that you um, actually do pay, and there's the ex ante real interest rate, which is the interest rate you expect to pay. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about that. So let me just go ahead and erase all that. All right. So. Let's suppose, for the sake of argument, you're borrowing money for a year, so let's just keep things real simple, and the nominal interest rate on that loan is 5%. Boom, so you've agreed to pay 5% nominal interest rate on a one-year loan. Now, you don't know what the inflation rate is going to be over the next year, but you do have some expectation. So remember, a PI is our abbreviation for inflation. If I put an E in the superscript like that, that stands for expected inflation. So you do have some expectation of what the inflation rate is going to be over the next year. And let's suppose you think it's going to be 2%. Okay? Well, that means the ex ante real interest rate is the nominal interest rate minus the expected inflation rate. Well, that's just one equation and three unknowns. You're telling me the nominal interest rate is 5%. You expect 2% inflation, which means you expect to pay a real interest rate of 3%. So the real cost of borrowing you expect to be 3%. Okay. Now, suppose things don't turn out as expected. Okay. So suppose a year from now you look back and say, hey, the, the inflation rate wasn't the 2% that I expected. It actually was something much higher. Let's say, for example, the inflation rate was 4%. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then the real interest rate that you actually end up paying, the ex post real interest rate, is the nominal interest rate minus the inflation rate that existed over the life of the loan, which would be 5 minus 4, because the inflation rate is 4% in this case, is 1%. So you expected to pay 3% to borrow money. You actually ended up only paying 1% to borrow money, okay, from the bank in this case. So, the key point here is the ex ante real interest rate, the real interest rate you expect to pay, and the one you actually do pay are not necessarily going to be the same thing. And they're going to differ when the expected inflation rate actually turns out to be different than the actual interest rate. Or, excuse me, when the expected inflation rate ends up being different from the actual inflation rate. Okay? So, that's the distinction between the ex ante real interest rate and the ex post real interest rate. Ex ante real interest rate is based upon expected inflation. Ex post real interest rate is based upon the inflation rate that actually exists over the life of the loan. All right, so this is an important distinction. We'll use it repeatedly in the course. So it turns out most of the time what's important for decision making that people, whether it's firms, governments, investors in financial markets, what's really important is the ex ante real interest rate. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop there, and uh, thank you very much.